by Beyonce. I've had financial issues, especially in my early 20s. I had a car repoed, and it was not fun. It was very embarrassing, very eye-opening. Uh, I was making stupid decisions. I went out and got a car that was way too expensive for my budget. I bought a brand new, it was actually used, the F-150, but it was just, I didn't have the money for this new F-150. There goes Beyonce. Will she return? We will see. But the current situation is the transmission's messed up. It's got like 40,000 miles, but um, the gearbox sensor came on, the transmission sensor came on. It wouldn't go out of first gear. So I'm hoping it's a sensor issue. There's so many things that can go wrong with a Porsche. Like when I talk about sensors and electronics and all sorts of crazy stuff, Porsche, especially that GTS, there's so many things that can go wrong. So I'm hoping it's not the transmission, but if it is, I'm not hurting either way because I'm smart. You got to get extended warranty on everything. So I got the extended warranty. It's still under manufacturer warranty. I think for like another 5,000, oh, here comes a, a car. But, um, damn it. It's not fun to have car issues. Now I got to go get my other car, the Jeep, which I'm trying to sell out of the <laughs> it's it's on sale um at the dealership so they're trying to sell it for me i'm gonna go pick that car up <laughs> and, what uh, if uh, you got like you got like a buyer walking in oh i want that jeep i know <laughs> well if i have a buyer walking in and buys a jeep i'm gonna sell it but either way i think i can get a loaner car let's go call porsche and see i better let them know the car's coming oh shit. <laughs> they're just gonna get my car dropped off like whose car is this called an egg roll bowl. Chicken, like low fat chicken, ground up, sticky rice, a whole bunch of like Asian seasoning, cabbage, it's like everything that would be in an egg roll, but then they just don't fry it. And they put it in a bowl. And I put duck sauce on top. This is a uh, nutrition solutions. We can put the, let's make the screen blink, like right now. Boom. So when you're ordering healthy food, right? Some people like to see, eat the same thing every day. I don't like to do that. With the, when I'm prepping, when I'm getting ready for my show next year, yeah, I'll probably eat the same thing close to every day. I'll still be flexible. If you guys follow me for a while, you know that, like I'm not, eating just fish and asparagus. I'm not starving myself to get ready for a show. I'm, I'm lucky that I have a fast metabolism, but also lucky that I've studied food. Being type one diabetic helps you know what food works and what doesn't. But with Nutrition Solutions, you get a different meal every single week. And they send you about like 
depends on the plan, but you can have like eight different entrees. So you're not in every week you're getting something new. So you open the package and you're like, oh, what did I get this week? A new donut, a new protein pancake, a new protein bar, and new entrees. They're the only company doing that that I know of. And they ship it right to your door. Love this food. Two scoops of high. Just kidding, not high. <laughs> I literally have had people uh, mention on social media that they took two scoops of high. Don't ever do that. That's like 800 milligrams of caffeine. Even though you're young and you think you're invincible, no. Nah. What's the point? There's no point of that. So this is two scoops of Jekyll. So 100 milligrams of caffeine. So that's 200 milligrams of caffeine. Plus the MO3 drive. And that should definitely wake me up for this back day. Dizzy. Yeah, I don't know. Every time I lift, I get dizzy. So I was like, all right, we're 
we're making this YouTube video about getting through the shitty workouts too. Yeah, like everyone, everyone has those, you know. It's just frustrating. All right, so one of the worst workouts, but you know what? Those workouts happen. I mean, let's let's look at this day. Transmission goes out in the Porsche. That's a transmission for those of you not watching or that don't know a lot about cars. That's like one of the most expensive things to go out. Luckily, I have it an extended warranty. So, but still, pain in the butt. I don't get a loaner car. So I have to go pick up my Jeep, which should have been sold by now. Very frustrating. Um, I have three car payments. So you're like, that's crazy. How can you, why would you have three car payments? Well, I pay for my fiance's car and I want to get her something nice. So I pay for that. I pay for this Jeep, which is just about paid off, but I still got a car payment on it. And then I got the Porsche. So I need to sell one of these cars, damn it. So I'm trying to sell this thing. No offense to the dude who told me he could sell it in 20 days, but it's been about 80 days, all right? So this car should have sold by now, and we gotta figure out why. So it's just a frustrating day, man. I know you guys out there probably have frustrating days too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have a ton of them. So after all these car issues, I go drive the Jeep, which I should not be driving. This thing should be sold by now. Gonna crush a gym workout, right? Then I'm dizzy, low blood sugar. I don't know why I keep getting dizzy after every lift, but that's just not the way you want your workouts to go, right? When you wanna take out the anger, you wanna take out your frustration. So what do you do? Well, what I do is I remind myself, I've had a lot of workouts just like this today. I've had a lot of days like this today. This isn't, this isn't the worst day in the world. I mean, it's frustrating, but I'm not going to take it out on other people. You know, people come up to me at the gym. I'm still nice to them. I'm still going to talk to them. If they ask me how my workout's going, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> like, it's the worst workout ever. I feel dizzy, but I'm not going to be mean to them or rude to them. I'm not going to let my bad day multiply to other people having bad days or, or to where I have worse days. So the point is, when you have stuff go wrong, just remember, it's not the end of the world. There's much worse things that can happen, and you will have better workouts. So, you know, you guys remember, too, that, you know, a lot of you guys that are watching this have a lot of diabetic followers like me, type 1 diabetic. We're going to have bad workouts. It's inevitable. There's nothing you can do about it except for manage your blood sugar. And how we do that is by testing our blood sugar a lot, um, keeping accurate calculation of your carbs, fats, and proteins, Yes, all three macros. If you just count carbs, it, that, that's not going to keep your blood sugar healthy. But sometimes you're not going to have answers. I don't know why my blood sugar just dipped today. It's been crazy lately. And so we're going to follow up with that on another YouTube video. How do you get control of your blood sugar? And it's going to be good for everyone watching this that's not diabetic too. Because believe it or not, your blood sugar affects the way you feel too. So you can't just eat all the carbs and sugars and everything you want all day, every day, and think you're gonna feel 100%. You're lucky that your pancreas works, unlike mine, and all the other type one diabetics, but you have to remember that the food you intake will affect how you feel tomorrow, and maybe even the next day. So, I've gotta get better control of my blood sugar today, figure out why I just completely dropped so fast, and then learn from it. But man, you know, this isn't the first day that I've had a bad workout and I was pissed off in there I don't know if we filmed everything that I was you know you guys can't see how I feel maybe you could but what I remind myself is that I was made I was made I'm here right now because of the hard times um, I never asked for the easy route when I was growing up I didn't have the easy route we didn't have money I didn't have everything I wanted we didn't even have electricity in the house sometimes. We didn't have running water. I didn't have a shower. I had to shower outside sometimes. So when you're young, you don't, you don't understand that you have the hard route. But as you get older, you start looking back and you talk to reflect with other people. You start realizing, dang, like I had the hard route and that's what made me who I am today. 
I had it harder than other people and maybe that's why I have a good work ethic. Maybe that's why I appreciate the little things. Maybe that's why I appreciate the big things like this, this awesome Jeep that I worked my ass off to build and to add all these parts and modification. I mean, this was my dream car. And after this, guess what? I had a new dream. I wanted a sports car. So I've got a, you know, I got the Porsche GTS. Thanks for the transmission going off. But it doesn't matter. Those things don't make me. This Jeep doesn't make me. Olympia didn't make me. Having followers didn't make me. All those things don't make you. It's the times when you, you get through and you stay strong with, with hard days like this. You know, frustrating days. But you're the guy who, who puts a smile on your face, still lifts other people up. And that's what, that's what I have to remind myself is that I've had many days like this and that's why who I am today. I got to Olympia with days like this. I've traveled all around the world. I've been in foreign countries where I don't know where the heck I'm at feeling just like this. And so I'm not going to let one little workout like this drag me down. I'm going to go get a huge cheat meal right now. <laughs> Alright guys, so worst workout ever. Sorry, wasn't a gung-ho crazy workout where you guys learned some awesome lifts, but I hope you guys remember that just embrace the hard route. Don't ask for the easy route. You don't need it. It won't make you any better.